Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Lithography machines are core equipment for semiconductor manufacturing, and ASML of the Netherlands is the world's largest lithography machine manufacturer. ASML's major global customers include South Korea, Taiwan and China. In recent years, China has purchased a large number of lithography machines, with a total of more than 1,000 units. Due to the lack of core policies, China has been in a passive position. The Netherlands plans to restrict exports to China, which is tantamount to crossing the river and demolishing the bridge. China issued a warning, either buy back the lithography machines sold to China, or China will lift the patent protection of ASML, one of the two must be chosen. Why does ASML restrict exports to China? In the field of semiconductors and chips, lithography machines are considered to be indispensable key equipment at present. Globally, ASML of the Netherlands is the leader and is the only company that has mastered mature lithography machine technology and can export it. Due to the scarcity of technology, ASML of the Netherlands produces only about 20 lithography machines per year. This poses a major constraint on the development of China's chip field, and the lack of lithography machines has become a key limiting factor. In recent years, SMIC has tried to purchase EUV technology lithography machines from ASML of the Netherlands, but the delivery of these lithography machines has been repeatedly delayed. Moreover, ASML's EUV lithography machines are in short supply, resulting in TSMC and Samsung almost completely occupying its EUV lithography production capacity. ASML's lithography machines are sold without worries. SMIC purchased old models that ASML has eliminated, not the most advanced EUV lithography machines. ASML's move was due to Washington's implementation of a series of chip bans, strictly restricting the export of advanced semiconductors and chip manufacturing equipment to China. The United States is prohibited from assisting China's chip technology development and has imposed sanctions on European companies such as ASML to restrict their cooperation with China to ensure the effective implementation of technical restrictions. The United States restricts ASML's cooperation with China, in fact, out of its own interests. China accounts for nearly 60% of the global chip market, and its chip purchases in 2021 reached 400 billion US dollars. China's chip purchases determine whether a company is profitable or not. This huge market attracts fierce competition among economies to grab more market share. Since the beginning of this year, the global chip market has shown a surplus trend. The US RF chip and analog chip markets are both in oversupply, forcing US chip companies to significantly cut prices for promotions. The Chinese market is becoming more and more critical in this context. For chip companies, winning its favor can help digest inventory and win survival opportunities. The United States accounts for nearly 50% of the global chip market. Before the sanctions, China's large-scale purchases of chips mostly came from the United States, bringing considerable profits to the United States in chip trade. After the United States imposed sanctions, China set out to make independent breakthroughs and cooperated with ASML to respond. The United States has taken restrictive measures to prohibit ASML from selling mature DUV lithography machines to China, intending to further curb the progress of China's chip industry. In this context, ASML's dependence on the Chinese market has increased. Next, we will analyze the huge economic benefits created by the Chinese market for ASML. What wealth has China brought to ASML? In the first quarter of 2022, ASML sold 62 lithography machines, including 59 new and three second-hand systems. ASML did not specify the number of 62 lithography machines sold to China, but the proportion can be inferred by analyzing its sales performance composition. ASML's first quarter 2022 financial report 
shows that mainland China accounts for 34% of its revenue composition. This proportion has increased significantly from 22% in the fourth quarter of 2021, indicating that the contribution rate of the mainland China market to ASML sales has increased significantly. In addition, Taiwan accounts for 22% of ASML's revenue. Combined with the contribution of mainland China, China as a whole brought 56% of ASML's revenue. According to relevant data, in the first quarter of 2022, China purchased approximately 2.22 billion US dollars in lithography machines from ASML. The purchase amount of lithography machines in mainland China was approximately 1.35 billion US dollars, while the purchase amount in Taiwan was approximately 870 million US dollars. ASML's performance shows that the Chinese market is crucial, with more than half of its revenue coming from China. If China is sanctioned, ASML will face heavy losses. China responds strongly. China responds strongly to the ASML sanctions. If ASML sanctions China, it will buy back the lithography machines sold to China, or ask China to lift its patent protection, either of the two. ASML cannot achieve two points, one of which is to buy back all lithography machines sold to China, because the accumulated cost will be as high as 500 billion, which is not realistic. Such a huge amount of money is difficult for ASML to raise quickly. Furthermore, if its patent protection is lifted, ASML will completely lose the Chinese market, with serious consequences. China is an indispensable market for ASML. While issuing warnings, China is committed to achieving independent development. After the United States adjusted its chip control policy, many Chinese companies abandoned their old ideas and turned to strengthening independent research and development and technology investment to meet the challenges they faced. In the field of lithography machines, Chinese companies have made significant progress. If they master top lithography machine technology, even if ASML provides more equipment, Chinese companies will no longer need to buy from it. In addition, China has built the world's first optoelectronic chip production line and is committed to developing manufacturing technology for a new generation of chips. Chinese companies have gradually reduced their dependence on lithography machines and are constantly exploring and developing new manufacturing processes. Lithography machines are no longer necessary tools, and traditional lithography technology is no longer the only choice. If China achieves a breakthrough in lithography machine technology, it will no longer need to purchase lithography machines from ASML. As the largest consumer of chips and a manufacturer of lithography machines, China has a huge market and production capacity. ASML should not easily miss the opportunity to cooperate with China. After technological improvements, SMIC has achieved N plus 1 and N plus 2 processes and produced chip products close to 7 nanometers, but there's still a clear gap compared to the world's leading 5 nanometers and even 3 nanometers. Therefore, in order to narrow the gap with the world's top level, China's chip industry needs to strengthen independent innovation and increase technological research and development efforts. In order to truly solve the problem of chip manufacturing, China must strengthen its technology and production capabilities and build a solid foundation of hard power. As the saying goes, strength is the basis of success. China needs to unremittingly enhance its R&D strength and production level to ensure that it is invincible in the competition. The difficulties ASML encountered in the Chinese market are not only due to external pressure, but also reflect some shortcomings of China's semiconductor industry. The Chinese government has issued a series of policies to promote the development of the semiconductor industry. The first measure is to increase investment in scientific research and technological innovation and support domestic enterprises to enhance their independent R&D capabilities. Secondly, it is necessary to optimize the investment environment to attract foreign investment 
and promote cooperation between domestic and foreign companies. At the same time, it is necessary to strengthen talent training and introduce top international talents to comprehensively enhance the overall competitiveness of the semiconductor industry. China's efforts in the semiconductor field have shown results and the future is promising. There is no doubt that the rise of China's semiconductor industry is unstoppable. Despite the challenges and difficulties, the Chinese government and enterprises are determined and motivated to develop the semiconductor industry, which will drive the industry to achieve greater success.